This is a big sheep set, guys. Good morning, guys. We are currently on an adventure to get to the Port Aranda's jetty right now. We're gonna be fishing the South Jetty, and I'm currently right now driving down the island, making my way down to uh, the Port Aranda's jetty. I'm taking me some lures and some fresh dip bait, big rods, small rods. We're gonna be chasing different species today, guys, from bull reds to trout, sheep's head. Let's see what happens, guys. Beautiful day out here, guys. Got my rods ready. Let's get out there. Lures I have tied on right now, guys. Our NLBN, the two ounce jig head, purple haze color, and a voodoo shrimp 3.5 rattling. Let's get out there, see what happens. That surf, guys, flat. The rocks are pretty crazy, gotta be careful here. For the big fish today, we will be using a Saragossa SW 8K HG with 50 pound braid paired with a 10 foot medium heavy moderate fast pin prevail spinning rod. After a long cast, letting my lure hit the ground and moderately retrieving the NLVN, we hooked up to a big fish. Hooked up guys. He has me on a rock. Yeah, he's rolling me on a rock. Ah, hooked up, guys. Oh, he's coming up. Yeah, he's already in. All right, guys, we got this fishing. Nice bull red on the NLBN. I'm gonna get on that rock right. All right. Yeah, it's a nice bull red. Alright. Oh, 
Yeah, he's looked pretty good. I might be able just to like pick him up. Oh, there he goes. Oh no. Grab the wire. Yeah, grab it. It's, it's 150. Yeah. Heck yeah, bro. Teamwork and cleats are always needed on these rocks. Yeah, just sit down the way you are over here. Or they show no mercy, no matter what age you are. Freaking teamwork. Uh, yeah, freaking rock climbing. Appreciate you, bro. He didn't even, I thought I was snagged, bro. He didn't even hit it. Like, uh, it's rain day, baby. All right, guys, look at that. And it'll be in right in the mouth. Two ounce jig head, purple. And it'll be in. Nice redfish. And you know how it goes. Give and you shall receive. The gentleman who helped me land this fish hooked up while I was holding it up. In a very odd way at this that. Is this, right? Get this on video. This what the heck? I just caught a line. <laughs> so you snagged somebody else's. I snagged somebody no, else's line. line with a bucktail. With a bucktail. What the heck? Fish on it. Dude, what? So you got a bucktail and a fish? Let's go. Heck yeah, bro. That's a. You just got like 10 bucks. You got like yeah, 15 bucks right there. You got 15 <laughs> bucks and a redfish. <laughs> Literally made money. There you go. That's insane. The spoon's up there. Give me the net, bro. Nice. Heck yeah, there he goes. Yep. Trying to snap out of it, but he's going. Water's nice and cold too. Ooh, kicked off by himself. All right guys, I got some dead shrimp left over from this morning. I took some dead shrimp out to Port A, um, just in case the sheep's head were biting like crazy. But uh, on the way out, I decided to stop here at factory see if I can get any sheep's head with the bait that I have left over before it goes to waste. This way. Yeah, I'll get him this way. Nice sheep's head, guys. On that first cast, after I helped the gentleman out right now. Yeah, that's a big one. This is a big sheep's head, guys. Oh, a whole lot of big ones out here. That's another big one, bro. That's a nice one. Yeah. You got the kind of test on there. Yeah, you get the rod real quick? Yep. How bad? I got 30 and I got 40 pound leader. But it's mono though. Nothing. I had to secure that one for sure. Appreciate that, man. That's a tank. I guess there's some big ones out there right now, man. Yeah, it's that sundown bite. Should be pretty fire until it gets dark. Whew, big sheep head, guys. This is a massive sheep head. This thing is so huge. Didn't take that long, guys. I helped the guy out. 
And good karma brought me a nice sheep head. Look you know, how big that is compared to my shoe, guys. That's a 20 something inch sheep head right there. Oh my god, I'm glad I came out here to stop. Let's see what was going on, guys. This is a big fish. Ah, dang. Check out my ice chest. 21 inch sheep head, guys. 21 inches, solid sheep head, first cast. Right after I help a guy land a stud sheep head as well. Let's go, I'm glad I stopped here to use the shrimp I had leftovers. Look at those slab sheep head, guys. Slab 21 inch sheep head. And that leftover shrimp I had from Port Aransas, guys. I'm glad I stopped here and decided to use it. It began to get dark quickly, and I had to get this fish on ice, but y'all are not gonna wanna miss the next two episodes. All right, guys. Now this was supposed to be a sheep's head catch and cook. However, I came across a friend in the parking lot and I donated that fish to them. Being that I already have enough fish at home, I gave that one away to a friend. So now I'm here at home and I have the speckled trout from my last video. Here's a clip. I got to a big trout up here, guys. Massive trout up here on the tip of the jetty. three inch on the voodoo shrimp first cast the tip of the jetty all right first thing guys I'm gonna cut these guys in half now I'm gonna coat the fillets with some olive oil here that should be enough for that side all olive oiled out okay Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. And I'm gonna try some of this Uncle Chris's steak seasoning. Ran out of slap your mama. We're just gonna give it that little coat. All right, so I seasoned one side, and what I did, just move around these fillets till they were basically coated on both sides with seasoning. Now I'm gonna cut some cilantro up into fine little pieces. Only have to be fine pieces, just these little pieces. Okay guys, I got some cilantro cut up. I got the seasoned pieces of fish here. I'm gonna add them in there. Add the cilantro. Now I'm gonna cut a lime up. Squeeze the lime in the bag as well. All right, close this up. And give it a nice little mix. All right, let that sit for a little bit in the fridge and we're gonna come back in a bit and cook it up along with our rice. While the fish is marinating and the butter's warming up, here's a clip of the next day. The wind picked up and I decided to go drum fishing at Causeway Bait and Tackle. Just cast it into his mouth. The bait of choice on this windy day, live sea lice. These critters are absolutely weird, but the drum were loving them. Doubled up or what? Yeah, working up. Right here over you. Over here, Billy. Get out of here. 
To the cooking. All right, guys, time to flip them. Ooh, that looks nice. That's exactly what we wanted. Beautiful pieces. Perfectly toasted. In the butter. Amazing. All right, guys, we're gonna keep it simple. There's a plate of white rice there. We got our cooked up trout right here. That looks amazing, guys. Delicious speckled trout over a bed of white rice. Now, it's time for a taste test. Let's see how it came out, guys. Man, that came out amazing. I'll be doing this more often for sure, guys. Now, this is South Texas Fishing Fam. Make sure that like, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are out. Look at all the guys.